This is a video, a sample, on how to take a simple tune like Silent Night and bring it up to date a little bit more rather than doing it always the traditional way. Oh, let's get this keyboard on. That's the traditional, as it would be done in church. If you want a little bit more Christmassy sound out of it, you need to add some more notes. So it has a little bit more sparkle. Sort of like having a Christmas tree. And a Christmas tree is nice, but once you start putting on decorations and tinsel and lights, it becomes more sparkly. So we have this, but we have the ninth. Now the ninth is the same as the second degree of the, sa of the scale either here or here. But when it's up here, we'll call it the ninth. That has a little bit more sparkle than simply this, as you can tell. That's sort of nice. <coughs> now, this chord, we're putting a chord on every, <coughs> on every single melody note here. Well, if you take a look, D, F, A, C, and you've got, uh, so D, F, A, C, it's a D minor, but when you put thirds here, look at that, it's all thirds. So it's a, a, a C major, 9, 11, 13 chord. Oh, oh, whoa. You could do this. Then that's a D minor, not a C major, but D minor because the seventh is in the bass. Or simply. Now again, that's nice, but that's traditional. The ninth, one step above the root. Adds a bit more sparkle to it. That's sort of nice. That's not traditional. This is C major, but with E in the bass, the third. C, E, G, E, C, E. Back to your D minor. Now, isn't that nice? I like a cluster of notes here. What do we have? Well, the root, the ninth, and the third. You always have the ninth. Isn't that a pretty chord? The root, the fifth, the minor, se the minor seventh, the ninth, the fifth, and the root. Now instead of going down to C, go down to F. And then walk it to the final chord. And then come up here and add the ninth. And down here, add the ninth. Those things for beginners are a little bit rough to do, but there's so many different things you can do, and when you do different things, it's not memorized. And there was on that one. You need to. You just keep that, or you can move it up here. To understand what's going on means that if you have this same kind of a situation, and you will, in another composition, you're, you have an acquaintance with it. You may not understand it completely at the very beginning, but 
as you go on to working out the second Christmas song or popular song, the third and the fourth and the fifth, pretty soon, pretty soon things become more familiar. It's just like the spoken language. You have certain phrases that you may speak in a foreign language. You may not understand completely its form, its gender, <laughs> which other foreign, uh, foreign languages have. English doesn't. But once you get used to certain forms, then going on to other phrases, it becomes a little bit more familiar, a bit more understandable. But just simply to memorize something... You know, anybody can do that. But when you start adding things, or, now, that, you could have done this. Or how about this? Notice I do use these clusters. Anyway, uh, it'd be nice if you would fiddle around, fiddle around with this and see what you can come up with. Add ninths to your chords. You got C major, add a ninth. If you want to add it as a cluster, fine. You got an F major, add the ninth. Add the cluster. It becomes more sparkly, like as I was mentioning the Christmas tree. Your next job would be to transpose it. F major, one, two, three, four, whole step, whole step, half step. From the fifth note of the scale, it's also whole step, whole step, half step. So from the first note of the scale and the fifth note of the scale, it's the same pattern. Up a whole step, up a whole step, up a half step. And you can see that you've got a black note on the fourth note of the scale, B flat. So, now that's very church-like. That's Morse Christmassy. I didn't like that seventh, did you notice? So I like this cluster here. Or, Ninth, go to the tonic if you like. Notice now my thumb is on the third and the ninth. Now I don't have a ninth, I've got a major seventh. Where is the ninth? One C. You want to do that? And also I've got the um, major seventh. Major seventh and the ninth. There's the ninth. As I say before, then you're in your four chord. Okay, I messed up there a little bit. You got to remember, anytime you mess up, fine, not a problem. But you learn that way. Always remember, you don't learn to improvise. You improvise to learn. And by just doing these things over and over, pretty soon you become acquainted with sounds. You become acquainted with ninths, elevenths, thirteenths possibly. It's helpful to have a teacher to go through these things. Um, so anyway, give it a go. Have fun. That's enough for today. Bye-bye.